Hey, shalom, Israel, my son, Christ bless. It's another 15 minutes with your captain. I'm Captain Shafal, and today we're going to deal with I'm a single sister who's my head. All right, now um, I'm going to start in the book of Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. All right, let's find out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So the Most High already prophesied that we, in these last days, we will discontinue from our heritage. Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies mm -hmm. in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So it's prophesied that we will discontinue from our heritage that the Lord gave us. Why? And that's why we have the question today is, who is my head as a single sister? All right. Um, go to, from there, go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Because the Lord said he, we kindled a fire in his anger. All right. How did that happen? And how did we discontinue from our heritage? And why do we have these questions today? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Most High said, if we don't listen to him, go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments, go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. The Most High commands, um, prophesied that all these curses will come upon us because why? We broke his commandments. We turned away from his commandments. That's why we discontinued from our heritage today. Jump down to verse uh, 47. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47. Go ahead. Because thou serves not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart mm -hmm. for the abundance of all things. So the most I say, because we didn't serve him with joyfulness for the abundance of all things. Go ahead. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. We ended up serving our enemies. We ended up going into captivity. Go ahead which the Lord shall send against thee mm -hmm. in hunger for food and in thirst for water and in nakedness for clothing. Go ahead. And in want of all things. In want of all things. All our understanding we got from what our enemies. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. And he said he's going to send nations against us. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck and that's what happened to our people we went into slavery we had yokes of irons around our necks read until he have destroyed thee understand we're destroyed as a nation of people so coming back to our re uh, repentance that's why we have questions like this who is my head as a single sister because all these things we knew we knew all these things we knew the order of the house we knew the structure of the house before we went into slavery before the Lord sent our enemies against us. All right, now um, I'm going to go into a book. Um, it's called The Making of a Slave by Willie Lynch. All right, um, go to page 29. Read the title. Yes, sir. The Making of a Slave mm -hmm. by Willie Lynch. Page 29, the breaking process of the African woman. So it says the breaking process of the African woman, who really is the Israelite woman. All right. Jump down to, um, we have. We have reversed the relationship in her natural uncivilized state. So Esau said that he re reversed, um, read it again. We have reversed the relationship in her natural uncivilized state. Go ahead. She would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male. So understand, he said um, she would have a strong dependency on her, on her husband, on the males, but they've reversed the roles. All right, they've broken the roles. Read on. And she would have a limited protective tendency toward her independent male offspring. You see that? And that the male offspring was independent. She could have a dependency on her male. Go ahead. And would raise male offsprings to be dependent like her. Uh-huh. 
nature had provided for this type of balance. Mm -hmm. We reverse nature. So nature has been reversed or our understanding of the house structure has been reversed. Go ahead. By burning and pulling a civilized nigger apart and bull whipping the other to the point of death. Go ahead. All in her presence. It was done all in the presence of the women. Go ahead. By her being left alone, unprotected, Mm -hmm. with the male image destroyed. That's the thing. They destroyed the male image and they still do it today because we still have um, singers like Beyonce um, saying that independent women, they're still pushing the same thing today. Go ahead. The ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state Mm -hmm. to a frozen independent state. Go ahead. In this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles. You see that? The the male and the female are being um, raised in reversed roles. The mothers are taught the, the females to be males or strong. And the men to be weak and effeminate. It's going to say that. Read on. For fear of the young male's life, Uh she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak Uh and dependent. Mentally weak. They've raised the men to be mentally weak. Go ahead. And dependent. But physically strong. But physically strong. Why? Because they have to work in the fields. Go ahead. Because she has become psychologically independent, she will train her female offsprings to be psychologically independent. You see that? Train the females to be psychologically independent. That's why sisters today think that they can be independent. They don't need the men or they look down on the men because the male image has been de- destroyed. Right? It's been destroyed in the media. It's been destroyed in songs. It's been destroyed through all things, all right? Why? To to disrupt our houses. Go ahead. What have you got? Mm -hmm. You've got the nigger woman out front Uh and the nigger man behind and scared. You've got the the woman out front and the males behind scared. Uh, Jump down to by killing. By killing, sorry, page 31. Mm Mm-hmm. By killing of the protective male image and by creating a submissive dependent mind of the nigger male slave, Uh we have created an orbiting cycle Mm -hmm. that turns on its own axis forever. Uh Unless a phenomenon occurs. It says this axis is going to spin continuously forever unless a phenomenon occurs occurs go ahead and reshifts the position of the male and female slaves something has to come and reshift the position of the male and female slaves and what is that that is the true understanding of this bible that we are the israelites and the order that the most high has set up for the household and for us as a nation of people all right so let's go to um Let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 1. Let's start there. Because remember, we've been discontinued from our heritage. So now we have to use the Bible, which is our heritage, and get a true understanding of how the house is supposed to be set up and what a woman, uh, a woman's role is and who is the head of a single sister. Okay, let's go. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So understand this. Christ is in agreement with what is being read right now. Go ahead. Now, I praise you, brethren, that you remember in all things Mm -hmm. and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. He said, keep the ordinances as I deliver them unto you. Go ahead. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So as a man, our head is Christ. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. So understand that, single sisters, your head is the man. Go ahead. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So what is that? That is order. you got the Most High God. you got Christ. you got men. 
and you've got women underneath that. That is the order. That's what we've been discontinued from. Our slave masters and our enemies have reversed the role. They've shifted the roles. That's why we're confused today as to who is our heads or the order structure of us as a nation of people. All right, go to Titus 2 and verse 3. Because everything starts in the home, what we're taught in the home. All right, Titus 2, start at verse 3. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, uh -huh. not false accusers, not given to much wine, mm -hmm. teachers of good things. So the aged women are teachers of good things. Remember, um, Esau, when we read the Willie Lynch letters, the aged women or the women were teaching the 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 male and female in reverse roles. All right, go ahead. That they may teach the young women to be sober. Their job was to teach the young women to be sober. Go ahead. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. Love and reverence their husbands. All right. That's something that had to be taught in the house. We wasn't taught that because a lot of us grew up in single parent home where the mother was independent. So she taught her daughters to be independent. A lot of our single, um, single mothers with um, male childs, a lot of them are what? Effeminate. All right. Emotionally weak. All right. Read on. To love their children. And to love their children. Understand that. That was something that was supposed to be taught in the house, in the house structure from young. So we carry that all the way through into our adult life. Go to um, Sharok 17 and verse 11. So remember, the phenomenon is happening right now. All right, the roles are being reversed and we're getting a clear understanding of how things should be set up as a nation of people. Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. You see that our heritage is these commandments and it was given to us as a nation of people. And that's what we have to come back to. All right, from there, let's go to Genesis 2 and verse 18. So Genesis in, is in the beginning of the Bible. Let's see what was set up from the very beginning. All right. The book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Uh -huh. I will make him and help meet for him. So the help meet was who? The women. The woman was made from the very beginning to be what? A help meet to the man. Not to be over the man, all right? You was made from the very beginning to be a helpmeet to the man. Meaning what? The man was over you from the very beginning. Genesis 3 and verse 16. The book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Uh -huh. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. You see that your desire should be to your husband. All right, go ahead. And he shall rule over thee. So what's that? That's a man ruling over a woman, being the head of a woman. That's in the house. All right, that's in the house. That's in the marriage. And growing up as children, we're supposed to have seen that. The example of the mother being in subjection to the father. The, the father figure being the male, the strong, the protector in the house. All right. Um, from there, go to Colossians 3 and verse 18. So we have to start with the house structure. All right. That's where we have to start from, the house structure. What do we learn in the house? Or what should we be teaching in the house to, to break that cycle and this phenomenon to happen? Go ahead. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. So from the very beginning, sisters, you're supposed to have seen your mothers submit to their husbands. All right, go ahead. As it is fit in the Lord. Okay. First Timothy 2 and verse 12. The book. Of 1 Timothy 
chapter 2 verse 12 but i suffer not a woman to teach uh -huh. nor to usurp authority over the man you see that a woman's not supposed to usurp your authority over the man go ahead but to be in silence read on for adam was first formed mm -hmm. then eve adam was formed first and then eve all right eve was always under adam from the very beginning so that's the structure from the beginning all right so from there go to numbers 30 and verse 3 what i'm going to show you is um all throughout uh sisters you always had a man over you all right from the very beginning all right numbers this is the book of numbers chapter 30 verse 3 mm -hmm. if a woman also vow a vow unto the lord and bind herself by a bond uh -huh. being in her father's house so this is a sister single sister in her father's house all right go ahead in her youth mm -hmm. in and, her youth go ahead and her father hear her vow mm -hmm. and her bond wherewith she hath bound her soul go ahead and her father shall hold his peace uh -huh. at her then all her vows shall stand so if the father hear her vow a vow in her father's house and he holds his peace then her vow should stand go ahead and every bond wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand go ahead but if her father disallow her in if, the day if the father disallows the vow go ahead in the day that he heareth mm -hmm. not any of her vows or of her bonds wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand uh -huh. and the lord shall forgive her all right so read that one more time again verse five but if her father disallow her in the day that he heareth not any of her vows or of her bonds wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand so the father could disallow her vows being in her father's house go ahead and the lord shall forgive her go ahead because her father disallowed her you see that that's the power that the father had over the daughter read on verse six and if she had at all an husband now if she left the father's house and she's married go ahead when she vowed or uttered aught mm -hmm. out of her lips wherewith she bound her soul uh -huh. and her husband heard it and held his peace at her mm -hmm. in the day that he heard it then her vows shall stand go ahead and her bonds wherewith she bound her soul shall stand come on but if her husband disallow her you see that now if the husband disallowed so that was um a sister being unmarried in her father's house and now we got the sister leaving the father's house being married to her husband the husband had the same power as who as the father to disallow the vow go ahead on the day that he heard it mm -hmm. then he shall make her vow which she vowed and that which she uttered with her lips wherewith she bound her soul of none effect uh -huh. and the lord shall forgive her you see that from the very beginning so we read from genesis the woman was made, made to be a helpmeet um, a support to the husband the husband was going to rule over the woman that's from the very beginning a woman always had a head over her all right from there go to um genesis 29 and verse 16 the book of genesis chapter 29 verse 16 and laban had two daughters the name of the elder was leah so this is a father with two daughters go ahead and the name of the younger was rachel uh-huh leah was tender-eyed but rachel was beautiful and well favored and jacob loved rachel so our forefather jacob he loved rachel go ahead and said i will serve thee seven years for rachel thy younger daughter and he was willing to serve seven years for rachel go ahead and laban said it is better that i give her to thee than that i should give her to another man uh -huh. another man abide with me and jacob served seven years for rachel 
and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had to her. Go ahead. And Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. You see that? So Laban had power over his daughter. You couldn't just roll up and take his daughter. The father had power over the daughter to give away his daughter. Jump down to verse 26. Verse 26. So when you read the history, um, Laban had some some trickery going on. All right. Um, Read that. Verse 26. And Laban said, it must not be so done in our country Mm -hmm. to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week and we will give thee this also for the service which thou shalt serve with me yet seven other years. So he had to serve another seven years for Rachel. Go ahead. And Jacob did so and fulfilled her week and he gave him Rachel his daughter to wife also. Okay, so... Go to Tobit um, 7 and verse 13. Tobit 7 and 13. So from the very beginning, a male was always over the women. All right? The book of Tobit, chapter 7, verse 13. Mm-hmm. Then he called his daughter, Sarah, and she came to her father, and he took her by the hand uh-huh. and gave her to be wife to Tobias. You see that the father gave her to be wife to Tobias. All right. The father gave away his daughter because the father had what? Power over his daughter. Is that it? Saying, behold, take her. After the law of Moses and lead her away to thy father. And he blessed them. And he blessed them. All right. So the father had power to give away his daughter. Go to um, Titus 1 and verse 5. So now being in the truth, who is your head in the truth? The males are still over the sisters. All right. Nothing has changed. The phenomenon is happening where we the, um, the bible is restructuring us and giving us back our heritage and setting things back in order again read that the book of titus chapter 1 verse 5 mm-hmm. for this cause left i thee in crete that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting uh-huh. and ordain elders in every city okay read that one more time for this cause left I thee in Crete, mm-hmm. that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. Things need to be set in order. What needs to be set in order? The structure of the household. The structure of us as a nation of people. Why? Because we've been discontinued from our heritage. Now we're coming back to our heritage. We're setting things back in order. The Bible is setting things back in order. Go ahead. And ordain elders in every city. Uh-huh. As I had appointed thee. And now we have elders or leaders in every city where we're waking up. There's schools and there's there's elders set over the schools or leaders set over the schools. All right. Um, From there, go to 1 Timothy 5 and verse 1. 1 Timothy 5 and 1. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 1. Rebuke not an elder. But entreat him as a father. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. Go ahead. And the younger men as brethren. You see that? So the the elders or the leaders, uh, those that have been set up by the Most High, we we are supposed to entreat them as father figures. All right. So as a single sister, who, who is your head, who's over you, the males are over you. The leaders of the congregations is who we're supposed to be looking at as father figures. All right. Now, you might say you may be um, a widow. You may be you could be a young widow. You could be an old widow. You had a man over you. Who's over you now? Uh, Go to Genesis um, 38 and verse 11. The book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 11. Then said Judah to Tamar, his Mm -hmm. Uh daughter-in-law, remain a widow at thy father's house. You see that? Remain a widow at thy father's 
house. So once you were married, you had a, um, a man or your husband over you. Now you're a widow. You've got to go back to your father's house. Uh, read it one more time. Then said Judah to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. remain a widow at thy father's house. Remain a widow at thy father's house. Meaning what? There's still a man over you, even as a widow. Even as you being single as a widow, a male is supposed to be over you. All right. So from the very beginning, from the house to leaving the house to having a husband or being single, there's still a man over you. So as a single sister, the males are over you. The leaders of the congregation and treat them as father figures. And with that, 15 minutes with the captain. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Stop!